When it comes to soybean seed treatments, there are a lot of different things you can do. And especially this year, a lot of people are asking the question, hey, what can I cut? Is it worth it to cut? So let's talk about each of these different categories. We've got fungicide, we've got biological, we have insecticide, and really coming back to the biological, we've got different categories even of biological. So let's get into all this. Well, let's start with the inoculant. That's one that's been out there for a long, long time. And guys have said, well, I, I did inoculant 30 years ago. I don't know if I, I still need to be doing that. Haven't they evolved into something different? Soybeans are still a legume crop. They still need rhizobia bacteria colonizing on the root system to produce nitrogen for the plant. And we get the question every summer, hey, should I add more nitrogen out to my soybean plants? I asked the question first, well, did you inoculate? And if you did inoculate and your inoculant has worked well and you've got lots of nodules on the root system and you have high levels of organic matter in your soil, no, you don't have to spend any money on extra nitrogen in most cases. Now, if you say, well, no, I have not been inoculating and I really don't have much organic matter in my soil for whatever reason, well, that, that may change things. And I look at this $2 investment of putting inoculant on the seed and think, wow, look at the return on investment. If it just replaced a few pounds of added nitrogen fertilizer this year or even next year because your soybeans are likely to leave more nitrogen in the soil when you have great nodulation, I think it's a no-brainer to use inoculant. Yeah, absolutely it is. But then the other category of biologicals, uh, or let's just call it all other biologicals, there are biofungicides now like Integral. There are products that are going to help get nutrients into the plant like quick roots and jump start. There are a lot of new products that are coming out there. And this is one of the things too that a lot of farmers are skeptical of. But over the last few years, all the big companies are dumping tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars into that whole area of biologicals. They're getting better. There are a lot of new things that are coming. So what we would suggest is at least try some stuff on your farm. We're using a lot of quick roots, had good success with it, but maybe there's something different that'll work great for you. All we're saying is try a biological that's kind of the new wave in agriculture. All right, when you think about the fungicide use, uh, this one is really ramped up. Things have really changed. We've gotten some good fungicides now in the seed treatment market, and many of them are systemic. So we're seeing protection not only for the seed, but for that young seedling as well. Uh, that is starting to amount to some pretty good yield gains. And when you think about the cost, many times you're only looking at a few bucks for these uh, fungicide only applications. Well, at that price, it takes less than one bushel of soybeans gained to pay for that treatment and to get a two to one return on investment. Maybe it takes a bushel and a half. Well, in many cases, you're seeing that bushel and a half come back. However, not all cases, and this is what gets a little bit challenging. Some years you may see a five or 10 bushel gain using a fungicide on soybeans. Others, well, you may barely get your money back. And, or just see a zero gain. Yeah, I mean, so, literally there are some years you're gonna spend the money and you're gonna gain nothing. All we're saying here is look at the average over time, not just one year on the fungicide thing. Uh, with the insecticide, we look at Poncho, Gaucho, Cruiser, uh, those neonic insecticides have been very effective on soybeans, especially stopping those seed attacking insects and early bean leaf beetle outbreaks. Now, right away when they came out, the cost seemed pretty high for a lot of guys, but it is so visual, the difference early season where you don't use those insecticides yep. versus where you do. There's more than enough gain with those early season insects. Anything else after that is gravy. Okay, but when we talk about what we're gonna cut, inoculant, no way, never cutting that ever. Uh, the other biologicals, you got to try that on your farm. And if you're getting good success, then I wouldn't cut. Yeah, you know, if, if it's not working, it's not working. Fungicide, you got to play the odds a little bit. In our cooler environment, heavier soils for us, we're always putting fungicide on. The insecticide, if you've never had bugs before, you certainly don't have to use the insecticide. You could cut that. But all I know is on our farm, we have bean leaf beetles, we have grasshoppers, we have soybean aphids, we have wire worms, we have a number of bugs out there that we do get activity with on these neonics. They're systemic, they're inexpensive, they're relatively safe to humans in the environment. So that's a real good thing to do, especially in our case. Soybean seed treatments will certainly be important this year on many farms, and so will weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.